as you all know kanjipuram is known for its temples and uh, history says that there are more than 1000 temples that was existing in this place but now we don't have that many but still uh, we have so many other temples which is unnoticed which is not mapped or which is not listed by any of the department or uh, only the local people knows where it exists and what is the importance of those temples so my initiative is to just to locate all these temples along with the historic background and to create a map which will help the scholars which will help the tourist people and all the others which will act as a reference for further study so when i was looking into this i just took uh, many international case studies how a mapping is done or how a conservation is done irrespective of the monument when we take the context conservation is being concentrated only on particular monument based so i wanted to extend it beyond a monument based like uh, it i can create a tourism which can be a cultural tourism or a ecological tourism so i have taken three case studies for reference as of now uh, in china it has been um, the conservation is taking the heritage site as a whole it is not concentrating only on a particular monument as such similarly when we go to the old town of talin they are there also they are taking a huge area for heritage conservation uh, irrespective of the particular monument what we are talking about and this is one more case study in peru where they are taking the site as a whole but in india if we take we are just a uh, monument oriented like when we take taj mahal when we take ellora caves on bragadeshwara temple or kanchipuram kailashnatha temple we are just concentrating on the 100 meter or 200 meter conservation what is happening as of now but my intention is there are so many other activities related to these temple that is still existing or it would have been existed in the earlier for example in kailashnatha temple on the uh, right side corner there are a few weavers still existing in that particular area who are doing the weaving but uh, it is not noticed by many of uh, the people only the people who knows they go there and then they'll be able to um, approach them and then they are getting those uh, sarees or whatever materials they want uh, so the another context in indian uh, this thing i have considered is that hampi where we have taken irrespective of a single monument a group of monument is being identified and it is being um, conserved so that it is on a larger scale so this is what this is the initiative i wanted to do it for the town kanchipuram which is again a temple town so what is the need for the study in south india there are so many temple towns as such but the increasing population growth it is making that particular temple town as a industrial or a commercial hub what what i mean here is industrial is nothing but kanchipuram is located nearer to chennai so it is the influence is slowly urbanizing that particular kanchipuram town and it is losing its cultural identity whereas there are so many other temple towns where the commercial hubs is being created for the product or the entity or the culture that is being marketed uh, for example kanchipuram is also famous for silk sarees but today morning when besi was talking about that handloom that is not at all existing as of now only 10 or 12 families are still existing in the handloom a uh, line whereas everything other every other thing it has been become a mechanical thing so the quality of cultural character is being lost the temple streets which was earlier uh, most important uh, pivot of the uh, growth of the town is losing its character slowly uh, my aim of this study is to create a desa- database of historic temples along with its presence not only the temples but uh, uh, taking a particular kilometer radius what was happening earlier looking into the history and how much is still existing and how much is slowly deteriorated and what could be done for getting uh, to retain its character at least in the present condition so that it can be retained for the future generations and here i mean the economic growth potential is nothing but tourism tourist people who are coming to kanchipuram they are just taken to some of the identified temples like uh, some eight temples which is big which has been uh, identified and protected by the archaeological survey of india but there are so many other temples along with the temple tanks which has a huge hito- historic importance so when i talk about temple towns in tamil nadu it is not only the place of uh, worship it was it acted as a place for social gatherings it was an educational hub so many educational uh, uh, 
um, activities have taken place inside the temple as well as along the periphery of the temple and it was a place for it was a place of religions celebrations and other cultural activities also took place in and around the temple prisons when we confer about the temple towns some of the famous temple towns which you people might have been heard about is madurai tanjavur srirangam chidambaram all those all these things but uh, uh, these are the areas where if you if, if you see in the map there will be a central temple this is one of the temple where the growth of the town takes place along this temple so when i run through these maps you can see a periphery rectangular periphery or a periphery along around which the um, growth of the town has happened so these are some of the Ma madre meenakshi amman temple so now the initiative has been taken to retain the characters along the temple and the streets which is nearby the temple and nobody is i mean uh, no hard and fast rule is being imposed when it comes to the um areas which is not lying inside the periphery or which is not lying inside the demarcated area where there are some important activities associated with the temple or with the culture of the city or the town is happening so tiruvannamalai is again one of the um, old uh, temple where you have um, some important functions happening during the full moon uh, day of every month uh, tiruvaru tyagaraja swami temple again these are the maps which shows one single temple as the focal point of the town so whereas manarkudi and tiruvade marudur all these temple when we just go back to the history there are few temples in which doesn't have a history because they are too old which belong to 3rd century or more than that so this is the rameshwaram temple tirunelveli and now coming to this is the kumbhakonam uh, map showing so many important temples that is lying in this temple town whereas the previous maps which i have shown is uh, all those towns had one single temple as a focal point whereas my case kanchipuram and this kumbhakonam has so many temples as an important focal point so my intention is to just map uh, all these temples and to portray the importance why this temple were important and what is the history behind why it has to be um, preserved or conserved for the future generation okay um, when i have when i had two case studies kumbhakonam and kanchipuram why i have selected kanchipuram as my study is kanchipuram is the most exquisite temple town because it has rich culture and architecture and there are so many individual temples which has been already protected by asi and apart from temples it has a rich cultural uh, value and heritage value and uh, as you all know it is famous for its silk sarees and uh, there are several tourist people who come here um for for the uh, for the cultural as well as the physical characteristic it holds when we talk about the history uh, this has a multi i mean history is very interesting right from pallavas choras vijayanagara and british rulers it has all the people and uh, who have ruled this uh, um, kanchipuram and kanchipuram was acting as the capital for the pallavas that is the tonde tonde mandalam it was called as and it was the neck region and it was acting as the capital and religion surprisingly we we can see uh, buddhism and jainism have also have contributed in this kanchipuram and there is one jain temple still existing there intact which belongs to the 6th century and um, buddhism as of now uh, i haven't gone much into the study to identify but there is a mona buddhist monastery which was existing and the traces are still left down i am in the process of identifying that and arts and crafts as your people know uh, performing arts is also very rich in kanchipuram and um, the silk sarees weaving is also uh, one of the important thing okay kanchipuram as a paradise of temple these are the some of the temples which is very famous if you just go and search for kanchipuram temples the immediate first six names or seven names will be these temples and i have just uh, given it according to the century um, in which it was constructed and um, uh, vaikuntha perumal temple in the 7th century and the kailashanatha temple in the 6th century or the oldest temple and it has the architectural marvels um, which is being uh, preserved and these are the this is the map which shows the location of the temples which i was talking about earlier 
Now, okay, what is the challenge? Why, why, why I wanted to map it and why I wanted to create a database for the future generation is nothing but the town geometry is slowly changing. Because it was uh, in books, early history books, it has been mentioned Kanchipuram is holding one of uh, um, good town planning which was adopted in the earlier stage which is now due to rapid urbanization. And one more reason is that the income of the tourist population. And around the year, uh, in the 12 months, if you have uh, Kanchipuram except two months, all the other months it has festivals also. So that is also bringing in so much of population, the inflow is more. So these are some of the, the criteria which made me to think and then, okay, fine, this mapping is going to help the many, many people in various aspects. So um, um, the parking solution is not there, uh, all those things, uh, whatever uh, the other uh, cities or towns facing due to urbanization, the same is happening with Kanchipuram also. Uh, existing condition of the temple tank, the commercialization uh, of uh, activities that is happening around the temple, in and around the temple, the mandabas, everything is very disturbing. So uh, this is going to be a ma one, one report kind of thing which is going to help for the future people for the conservation. Okay, what will be the proposed outcome of my research is just the highlighted points, a heritage map of historic temples, uh, documentation of the existing issues and how to, and for that existing issues, what will be a management plan or what will be the proposal which, which can be given? And finally, a tourism map which is going to be a guidance for the economic point of view, which is going to be the guidance for the tourism, uh, which is one of the important activity that is happening in Kanchipuram. Thank you.